Hello everybody. Well, I'm gonna change the saw bits out, so I figured I'd bring you along here for a little while. Um, if this bores you, this is gonna be your random sawing video, by the way. We're gonna saw uh, Don Holden's uh, cherry log on this video, but I'm gonna show you the basics of changing a saw bit. And basically, uh, you have a saw wrench, you put the pin in through the hole in the shank, and in a jerking motion, we're gonna bring the old bit out, pull the pin out, and you would take the, the saw bit and the shank comes out. They're two separate pieces. And at this point, you wanna make sure that your shank has no cracks in it. Just look for obvious signs of wear. Um, I also, I like the three-in-one oil. I keep a rag with a little bit of oil on it. And the first step here is clean out this pocket of any crud, plus it puts a light coat of oil. You wanna just sort of go around your shank, make sure there's no crumbs back where the uh, saw bit's gonna engage. And that part's done. And here's the old bit versus the new bit. And if you look at the back of them, you, you can see how narrow the, the carbide was getting. So these are chrome standalls, and I always ran standall bits. Uh, and if you run carbide, you're gonna have a standall bit. And what I always do is put just a drop of oil on the back side of the bit, because the shank is kind of worn into this groove. And it has oil on it from previous. Then what I do is I take the back side of my wrench, make sure this is nice and centered, and just give it a couple taps. What this does, this starts it into the uh, pocket. And if you don't do that, you'll be down in that saw pit before it's all over. Drop your wrench down in. And the F patterns are a little bit tough to get in. Find your hole. And then in a jerking motion, take it all the way down to it seated. And then you're gonna get your saw wrench again on the bottom of the, sh the shank itself and you're gonna seat it. I give it three little, three little blows and that's about all it needs. So uh, we'll just uh, continue around the blade. And after you do a few, you get better. The first one, it's like, uh, <laughs> takes you a minute. And I don't have a speed wrench. I don't need a speed wrench. Last time we changed these bits had to be two years ago. You get a lot of life on a set of saw bits. If you're not cutting metal and uh, rocks. And uh, well, the, the new saw blade is definitely ordered. We're gonna check the speed of the uh, mandrel at some point today when we're sawing and they need to know that specific RPM. I know it was somewhere around 550, but I'd like to give them a good specific number. They hammered a blade to spin at that speed. And someone had, I can't remember the gentleman's name, he said, he bought a boom plaque and he says, is there any way I can buy one of your worn saw bits out that he wants to put on his boom plaque? So I'm gonna give them things away to anybody. If you wanna stop out and see us sometime, I'll give you a, a worn saw bit for a souvenir if that's what you like. Um, and I might just start, uh, we'll bring him to the Bunyan show this year. Get, your, get yourself a genuine wore out saw bit and I hope the camera angles all right it's kind of hard you, you set the camera down in a stand you you point it you hope and when you edit it you say well I could have done better and everybody will let me know that's the beauty <laughs> that's the beauty of YouTube uh, but I enjoy having everybody in my life. 
it's uh it's been a lot of fun that's why i do it because it is fun i like to teach people and we're gonna have a visit from the eddie here in a second eddie just pulled in it is 826 on a saturday morning it is going to be a beautiful day we're what 51 degrees according to the thermometer and i do got to clean that hims is a little dirty license plates need clean too they're they're covered in all kinds of crud but yeah just repeat the process 52 times and you will have you will have The saw bed's done. You want to come and say hi to everybody, Ed? Hey, brother. You want to say hi to everybody? I'm showing them how we're changing the saw bits. So we're going to have new teeth. They won't be on this video, by the way. So when you see this video, it's with these old carbides. So um, I know someone will say, hey, them new bits aren't cutting very nice, but it was an old video. So, anyhow, hey, look what uh, look what's down in the salt pit. Good morning, good morning, Marky. How you doing, Eddie? All right, them look nice. Oh, aren't they? And, and I was showing everybody. Just look at the difference. Oh my, yes. So it, it ought to cut a lot better. I hope so, but the salt, it, it's losing tension. It does need hammered, uh, which means retention it. Hey, look, we got some visitors down in the salt pit. Who's that? Oh. <laughs> uh, we found kittens. There was a cat that runs around, and Nathan from out of the woods. Nathan, I think we got you beat. You might have the meanest cat on YouTube, but I think we have now. We have the most cats on YouTube. Uh, once they get bigger, We'll have to see if anybody wants to adopt them. I hate leaving them there, but well, they'll be all right. They're they're, <laughs> they're kind of a, they're kind of in a good. They they did good where they put them. Yeah, that's a good spot. They're kind of hitting underneath our sawdust pipe, which is oh, they're about six feet away from the saw blade, so they're not going to get uh, pelted. So, all right, everybody, I'm going to let you go here. We'll do one more. And um, I'll give you the sawing video here next. And thanks for coming along. Thanks for watching this nonsense if you like it. And uh, you got us to, what are we at? 66,800 subscribers. Thank everybody for making this channel grow. And try to share it with somebody, coworker, friends, family. And, um, oh, we appreciate every one of you. Yeah, and then uh, we're still working on the Bunyan show. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. I actually talked to Bill Ellis last night, Eddie. Did you? Yeah, so you got to find us some white oak for Bill. Oh, Will. We'll he needs battens, like 100 battens for his uh, barn. All right, I'm going to keep going here. So. I'm going to turn the camera off and we'll catch you guys here when we're sawing up that uh, piece of live edge cherry for Don Holden. So we'll talk to you later. Hello everybody. I'm going to make you a random sawing video. And this video here is for Don Holden if you're watching. We got you a nice piece of cherry I hope. And we're going to cut it into some 4 inch thick. Just 4 inch thick flitches. However it ends up, it ends up. So this is going to be a short video, and I'm deciding on um, what two blocks, I think I'm going to go on my uh, two middle blocks here this time. It's a decent sized log, but we're not going to do much with it, we're just going to... Let's just slab it. I might take a piece of four quarter off. 
off a bit. Now what I'm trying to do here is make sure I get through the saw. Oh, I'm kind of liking that. The, the, the heart of this thing is not centered very nicely. Um, Topsaw. We have to let that blade cool off. Okay, let me get on this side here. Blade. 
Alright, you can see how it drags the log deck when you're trying to do live edge sawing like this. It always don't work out so well. So, the master dog up out of the way. here before we get into that uh, pit. Gonna open up more of a face than that. Yeah, we've seen this log sit back there. I said, man, that's gonna be a good one for Dawn. I think he'd like it. And let's see here. Look at something here. I'm going to take a measurement first. sticks out a little bit. We hardly ever saw down with the dogs out like this. Yeah, you get down to four inches, you're going to be cutting dogs off. this off here and that's going to be it. That's going to be a nice, nice bowl blank. Then jam up. Let's get the carries out of the way. I'm going to back them knees way up, Eddie. See, this is what you got to watch here. Let me go back, Ed, 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 let, no, let me go back. There you go. Work smarter, not harder. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this little short random video making Don Holden some bowl blanks. And look at how big them things are. He ought to be able to get some nice stuff out of there. So, uh, all right, do me a favor. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Please hit the like button. Please share it with somebody. And we'll keep these videos coming to you. I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye-bye.